Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's reading is going to be a collective reading. The message for the whole collective and whoever finds this message, this reading is for you. And the first message that we have here today is, I respect, honor, and value my heart, emotions, soul, and mind in my daily words and actions. I respect, honor, and value my heart, emotions, soul, and mind in my daily words and actions. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on here. I wrote this message when I wanted to remember to value how I was feeling in the moment and not overanalyze it or try to understand it. I wanted to remind myself to just feel it and not feel like I have to feel a certain way because everyone else feels a certain way. I hope that makes sense. Like not trying to control or control how I saw the emotions and just let it be. There's no reason to it. It's just is what it is and coming into acceptance of that so that's when i wrote that that was the energy i was in when i wrote that message paul collective to those who are watching my viewers all right so let's pull some cards to get in deeper into this reading talk to me about the message for the collective that they need to hear Please expand on this. I respect, honor, and value my heart, emotion, soul, and mind, my daily words and actions. Okay. So, what I see here is that someone betrayed you. Someone deceived you, misled you in some type of way. This could be a friend, a co-worker, someone who's not that close to you, honestly. This is a person you met recently. This is new. This is a new person. Mm, yeah. So they misled you in some way. And... You're questioning whether you should continue to be a blessing in some way, continue to give. Because now your money is funny due to this person misleading you. You've lost some type of finances or confidence in the way that you see your materials or resources. And you've put your family on the back burner for... to give to this person in some way or to take a chance with what they were telling you, All right? And so the way you feel, you're not crazy, Paul. I want to say Paul one because I'm used to doing pick a card, but love, we're, we're going to call my viewers loves. Um, yeah, you're not crazy. You're not delusional. Your feelings are definitely valid. This person did mislead you. And got some type of gold or reward out of it. And you lost your money, your juice, your resources due to this. So please give yourself time to value Um the person you were in that moment because you did what you thought was best at the time. You did the best with what information you did have, okay? All right, let's continue on with it. Continue on this message. 
it could be in a corporation or some type of misleading opportunity even the world card this definitely taught you a lesson that you can take into your future endeavors with the people around you or things that you pursue that you want to see success in. You know how to make better decisions now. You activated the critical thinking part of your brain. You know how to overcome conflicts like the ones you experience now. You know that the red flags of people misleading, you know, the red flags of betrayal or deceit to some extent. And in a sense, you've mastered this and know what exactly to see and be aware of and cautionary when it comes to your givingness, your heart. And sharing your blessings with others. Because it, you just don't feel good being in this reverse Queen of Pentacles energy. Feeling like you don't have control of your resources or, or feeling like you don't have a lot of resources. So it's like this woman here, she's in a winter of her life. It's cold. It's no food. Well, it's little to no food. And it's very much survival of the fittest type of energy she's in her masculine and she's ready to be in her feminine she's looking at the world like all those resources all those beautiful resources let me get my hands on that and she just has to decide to make she has to decide in her full body from her head to her toe her crown chakra to her root chakra make that full body decision to say I'm I'm gonna keep my resources for me and whoever deserves it whoever I deem and earn the deservingness for me at least there could be somebody's brother here that helps encourage you um someone's cousin it's a young male boy in your life that helps encourage you to make decisions. They help you to be confident. They help you to be in a rooster kind of energy, confident, like I said, loud, setting your boundaries, that type of thing. I'm also seeing an uncle here. Thanksgiving is coming up. So they could be having a, a conversation with you around what you, what you bring to the table with the value that you have, some type of information they want you to share with them. They want you to remind them, hey, how do you do that again? Whatever it is, they want you to talk about however you do something, how you got into business, how you got your job. Um, these two young men in your life, two young boys, uh, they feel overpowered for whatever reason they feel overpowered by a king of pentacles energy provider they see that a male in your life a much older mature male is doing well in certain aspects of life and they want to be like him so they're asking you how he did it or they're asking you how you did it so that they can be like this mature male and able to take care of them to take care of themselves to some degree yeah mm -mm -mm. ace of pentacles here under six of pentacles love you have a lot of abundance you have a lot of knowledge wisdom good health you have rich resources whether it's through the material or your physical body like you may work out go to the gym have a good healthy diet that feels good for you that works for you in your solar plexus is charged you understand the material earthly realm very well you could have capricorn taurus 
Mm, what is the other X sign? Capricorn or Taurus is the only two that's coming to me right now. Virgo. There it is. In your second house. Second house or eighth house. Yeah, you understand the material realm very well. And people see that. People see you in your nice jewelry, in your watch, things shining, nice clothes. People see that and they want a taste of that. All right. So it's up to you to understand and learn and master protecting your materials, protecting what's important to you and allowing access to people who deserve it. Because you do want to share. You do want to want everyone want the people around you to feel taken care of to feel the sunniness the lightheartedness in the same way you do you want people to feel taken care of in the same way that you take care of yourself okay and this is a complete cycle with you learning these lessons because now once you get to the okay i understand myself in regards to boundaries i understand myself in regards to seeing red flags in others when it comes to being misled or who, who shows traits of deceitfulness, I can go to the next level now. Because I'm seeing it as a staircase and you're at, you're pretty far on the staircase in regards to the materials because you have nice things or really nice health. And you learning this lesson you're able to go to the second level the next level and there's more for you there i'm seeing planet earth and then i'm seeing planet jupiter so and then i'm also hearing drake i could give you the the world but there's other planets too there's other planets for you to explore love like and the opportunity is here so respect honor value your heart your emotions and mind in your daily words and action, this is an embodiment practice where you practice and fully embody accepting how you feel, who you are, and the way that you move. Just period, okay? The tarot card on the bottom of this deck, alignment, sun changes. You won't have to do too much in regards to the opportunities coming or the t learning and the lessons coming for you. The lessons will come to you. You just be ready. All right. That's what that means. The tower card. Let's get some clarifying cards. Message for the collective, please. Perfect. Message for the collective, please. One card. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, courtship, and these wanted to come out. 22, official person, unexpected income. There's a surprise waiting behind a person. There's a surprise waiting behind a relationship that you have. It may be with an older person. It may be with some type of senior, senior executive, senior relationship. There's a surprise behind the their finances or your finances this senior may come with oh i got debt and something or the senior may come with oh i got a thousand dollars inheritance for you i don't know but the relationship with the senior is important when it comes to a surprise materials something you didn't expect is hiding behind this person in regards to finances material resources earthly realm related things Okay, uh, child here, beginnings new on top of I respect, honor, and value, as well as on top of betrayal and generosity, six of pinnacles, and seven of swords in reverse, and poverty here. So this is clarifying the dynamic here of your experience. Poverty is showing me, yes, you were naive to some extent or just freshly new, never experienced anything like that. Wouldn't expect that a person would treat you like this 
or put you in a situation to feel impoverished or like you had not a lot to give, not a lot to experience. You just didn't know what to expect. And you were very vulnerable in this moment. You may have shared some vulnerable stories with this person and you expected this person to protect you and keep you safe because they, they're in the suit, okay? They're in the authority. Um, They're in the authority role here and they didn't do that. Okay, so I see why that hurts. Love, I can see why that hurts. But now you've got your experience and you can come out of this because you were, you can take, come out of that taking your lessons, taking your work that you've done and integrating into completeness. And on the bottom of the deck is courtship. Like I said, completeness, divine masculine, divine feminine, having structure for yourself and having flow for yourself, knowing when you are safe enough to flow. In regards to that, I mean, knowing your own boundaries and when it's safe for you to give when it makes sense for you to give and it feels good for you to give and it's not coming out of a i feel bad for you type of energy all right and we're going to get our last message from the good which is god To close this reading, last message for the collective. Last message, the power behind the plants. Prayer activates our own spirit, forces to work in tandem with plant spirits and the plant's natural healing attributes. Connection with the spirit world, including your own inner spirit. The following prayer is a guide to get you started. It should be recited before making any of the recipes in the chapter. If you're working with multiple herbs, you can name them all at once or perform the prayer for each herb. The prayer is to the spirit plant name here. I thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for giving yourself to me to sustain me, heal me, help me, protect me. May your essence fill me with health and may your blessings fall upon me. Spirit of, may you be blessed. Thank you for your sacrifice. So this is reminding me, even in magic practices, witches are expect a blessing and acknowledging the plants giving this to the witch. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Like even in magic, people are honoring the essence of what the plant is giving. And here in your experience, know that you are worthy of being thanked and acknowledged for what you bring. Because what you bring is healing and helping and protecting to the people around you to some degree all right love um and another tip power behind plants you may work with plants a lot or you may be thinking about getting a plant but working with plants as well will help you strengthen your self-worth and help you respect honor and value your emotions your soul your mind and your daily words and actions to help you embody this practice of accepting who you are maybe working plans may maybe your area all right and last card if it doesn't feel good it's because i haven't brought attention to it so yeah if it doesn't feel good to give or try an opportunity it's because you haven't brought attention to it. You haven't invested enough time into it. It's not yet ready to be reaped. Like it's being, it's like a fruit being picked way too early is the image I'm seeing. Like you'll be ready. You may have an idea to give your, give a friend a pear and the pear may not be right, but you give the, 
them to pair anyway and the pair is not is bitter is not ready for for you to eat all right so take your time when it comes to giving even though this person is asking oh can i have it or can i get it or when can i have access you know it's not ready and so you just keep telling this person no or get out of their energy or tell them put some boundaries up or tell them what you got to tell them so that they can give you a break all right because the fruit is not ready yet <laughs> It's not ready for everybody. Like you may have a select few fruits that are ready and you'll pick them and you'll that's just, just enough to feed you, but the other fruits aren't ready. And so when they are ready, then you have more than enough to get. All right, love. So I'm closing this reading. Thank you. Closing this reading. Thank you very much. And since you're sad for guiding me. And generally with what the readings they I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Send this to your friends if this resonated with you. And share. You can follow me on my social medias down in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this reading, put a pear emoji. If we even have those. Or a fruit emoji. And comment give what you can give and give and don't give what you don't got all right confirmation text and i'll see y'all in another reading bye